Hey guys and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. Uh, this is a continuation of our table view customization series. Uh, in this particular tutorial we're gonna take a pretty simple table view. I've got one up on my screen with just two rows in it and we're going to add some images to it. So you may have seen applications where um, the rows actually have small little images within the table views. Uh, they're extremely useful in terms of uh, a modification that you can make to design a UI and we're gonna take a look at just how you can do that right so let's get started I've got of course a simple table view based application uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop running it if you've never worked with table views before you will probably want to take a look at the simple table view tutorial that I've got in my um, playlist on the channel so just search for it or just take a look at the whole channel and you should see how to create a simple table view uh, that's definitely going to be a starting point for you. Uh, if you know how to create table views, just follow along and we will make some customizations. Right, so just to point out um, what we've already got in place, I've got you know a table view, um, I've got an NS array object that has two NS strings in it, and then I've got my usual um, table view data source methods, which is uh, the number of rows in section, table view colon number of rows in section, and then table view colon cell for row at index path. And then again, nothing special going on here. We're just creating a cell, checking to see if there's one that's free that we can reuse. Uh, we're setting the text label property and then just returning the cell. Right, so the first thing we got to do to be able to use a image within our table view is uh, we're going to need to import that image. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my project name and I'm going to say add files to simple table view and I've got a couple on my desktop that we'll be able to use and let's see here we've got we'll start with the Wi-Fi so I'll just add that you want to make sure of course that here under destination you've got this copy items into destination groups folder uh, option checked that will make a copy and add it to your project folder right now that that's done what we can do is we can create a simple UI image. So let's create a UI image. So we'll just call this UI image and we'll call it Wi Fi image. That seems a missing up name. And then we're going to say, we're going to call this image, we're going to say UI image, image name, and then it expects an NS string, which is the entire name of the image. So in our case, that's just called Wi Fi dot PNG close that and there we are we'll get a warning here in a second because of the fact that we haven't used this particular object yet but that's okay we will be using it in just one second so the way we actually set the uh, image in the row is we make use of a property for the cell so we say cell dot image view dot image and then we simply set that to Wi-Fi image Command S to save. Let's run this application, and we should see everything uh, working just like we expected to. So we'll give it a second. Here comes the app. Fantastic. So now we've got an image in our row, but of course, I this is a Wi-Fi symbol, and I don't necessarily want it here for power outlets. So then the obvious question is how do I set different images here especially when you're designing a UI you may not have a complete table view here you might have four rows that the user selects then to go into a different part of your application so if you've got a setup like that and you want to set different images you can actually do that pretty easily so the way we are, we're going to do that is first we're gonna to have to create a couple more UI images so let's say create a uh, we'll just change this to say create UI images and let me go ahead and create another UI image. I'm going to call this one power image and this time I'm going to set it to a different image. Let's say image image named and we'll just call this power.png. Command S. Again we get that same warning because we haven't used it. Now um, of course we want to go ahead and add that image to our project so let's do that as well and here we go we've got power so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that and we should be all set in terms of having those images great so we still get the warning of course because we haven't used this now how would you go about setting different images for different rows well the answer is we will make use of this index path.row property and we will 
use a switch statement. So we'll use a switch, and I'm just going to pass in index path dot row as the expression. Um, remember, it starts with the zero is the first row, so we'll set that there. Uh, we're still getting an error because it expects us to put in some statements. So what I'm going to do is delete that, and I will move this line of code, command X, to that value, and then I will set a default value and change this to be power image. I could, of course, instead of the default, have a case one, and that would work just as fine. So let's see what we just did. We what we did is instead of setting the image just directly and saying cell.imageView.image is equal to a certain value, we're leveraging the index path.row property. Remember, that's what tells us what row we're currently on, and setting it based on that. So when it's row zero, it will be Wi-Fi image and any other row it's going to be power image and this works in our case because we only have two rows if of course I had four options in my UI I would maybe provide case 0 1 2 and then default or case 0 1 2 3 right so let's run this and you will see that this time we actually do have two different images so there we go so we've got a Wi-Fi image next to our Wi-Fi row item and a power outlet or a power image right next to that Okay, so let's, you know, you can see that you can select this and this works just fine. Uh, of course, this application doesn't do anything because we don't have it set up with a detail view or really any kind of a navigation controller. And that's fine because that's not really the point of this application. Now, we can take this a step further. Um, w one of the things you may notice is as I'm selecting these, the color of the icon is essentially the same. Um, and it may be a little bit nicer, and you'll see these on different applications, where what they'll do is they will change the color of this particular icon based on whether or not the user has tapped a row. It's a very, very subtle effect, but I guarantee that it makes a big difference to your overall UI. So watch for your favorite application. If you're looking for a good example, take a look at the Nike running app, and you will see when you tap a row, it makes a subtle difference in the row. Either the background color will change or the image changes slightly. There's maybe some kind of a shadow on it. Uh, but all those make a big difference to overall UI design. So let's take a look at um, a simplistic case where what we're going to do is we want to be able to change this image color when um, the user taps a particular row. So the way we actually do that is I let me show you these these images here. So I've got my power image and my Wi-Fi image, which is a basically a very standard image that I created earlier and. Um, or I'm sorry, I didn't create earlier. I got from a particular location and I'm gonna share that with you in a second. And what I did then is I took these images into an image editing tool and I changed the color to white. Um, that's uh, purely for this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and import those. These are the exact same files. So let's say add files to simple table view and the ones that we want, I want Wi-Fi W and I'm gonna add another one called power w and we can actually tap on that and we might be able to see and you see it's essentially that same power symbol but it's now tinted white this one is tinted white as well and this is our Wi-Fi symbol so let's complete this and I will show you where I got these icons from and let's jump back to our view controllers implementation file so the way we change this or the way we ensure that a particular um, that when the user taps a particular row the image looks a little bit different is we set a separate property we say cell dot um, uh, selected image uh, cell dot image view forgetting my own little notes here but it's essentially cell dot image view dot can't remember it's uh, highlighted image and we are going to set that to Oh, I know we skipped this step here. All right, let's. Here's what we got to do. Well, don't worry about the error for now. Really, what we need to do is copy these two items one more time because we're going to need UI image views for them as well. I'm just going to call this W image power W image, and this one was called Wi-Fi W power W. So again, remember, I'm getting these values from the image names that we just imported. I'm just creating new UI image objects so I can set this particular property, which is sell that image view to highlighted image to Wi-Fi W image. And we're going to do the same exact thing here. And I'm getting an error here because I've got a typo. Um, and I am going to do the exact same thing with the power image. And we will set this to 
power image. Great. All right, with that done, we are all set. Now if we run our application, we should see we've got our same two rows, same two icons, but this time when I select it, notice that the icon changes to white. And what's happening is um, our app is basically swapping out those icons. Uh, so it swaps the dark one out for the light one and it creates a much better sort of transition I think when you select a particular row. So I hope this was helpful and this is just another thing you can do to your UI table views if you're incorporating, incorporating them as part of a user interface. And last but not least, let me share some great work. Um, most of these icons come from this site. I actually have, um, as a developer, I find these incredibly useful. You'll notice that there is a pro version, which is $25, um, and it doesn't require attribution, I don't think. And there's a free version, which is 200 icons. You can certainly use these in your app. Just take a look at his licensing requirements. But um, these are created by a guy named Joseph Wayne. He does amazing work. If you're a developer, I know sometimes there's a temptation to do all the work yourself and build the icons yourself, but I kid you not, these are uh, the, one of the best $25 you'll ever spend. Um, some great icons that he even provides retina display icons, and it can really make or break sort of your UI. Um, you know, icons are an important piece of it, and having good ones can really, or bad ones can really make or break your UI. So I definitely recommend check out glyphish.com. Um, try the free ones if you like. Remember, you do, requ uh, as per the licensing terms, you will need to provide attribution for it in your app, sort of as a credits, or you could spend, like I said, $25, nothing, 400 bucks. Now, I don't get any money. I have no affiliation with um, Joseph as well. I just think he's doing great work helping us developers and I'm happy to um, share his information with you. If you are um, also a designer or developer that is creating icons that you want to sell, uh, feel free to shoot me a, um, a message via YouTube and I would be happy to feature that uh, as part of a tutorial or something like that. So anyway, so that's my secret. That's where I get my icons from. But thanks for watching and uh, good luck customizing your user interface and your table views.